Uh, hello, um, YouTubers. This is Jeremy from Video Gamers Oasis. Thought I'd try something a little different. Uh, just take a break from my usual videos. Um, me and my friend Joel. Hi, you and Joel. Hey, how's it going? Um, asked my friend Joel to help me with uh, the filming of uh, some uh, so a special project I'm doing. Um, I'm, I'm involved with HelloFresh. It's a uh, product that uh, they deliver fresh ingredients to your home with recipes uh, for all walks of life, whether you be vegan, vegetarian, uh, regular meat eater, um, family, you, if you're a family guy, a family family woman, you want a, uh, some wholesome food for your family, HelloFresh is the product that you need to get. It's awesome. So what we're doing, my friend Joel has this very strict diet. He's getting into more of a vegetable or, or vegetarian kind of meal. So I thought I'd cook for my first meal with my friend Joel. There's going to be two servings of this. We're, um, we're going to uh, cook up a Mexican red bean stew with cheesy quesadillas. I'm very excited about this. And I'm just going to read this out loud. Due to order volume, you may receive an equivalent ingredient substitution for this recipe. Follow the recipe instructions as usual using the ingredients that you have received. Thank you for your understanding and happy cooking. That's what it says. And the ingredients for this cheesy, this Mexican red bean stew, stew with cheesy quesadillas is kidney beans, sweet potato, yellow onion chopped, green bell peppers, diced tomatoes, chili, gar chili uh, garlic sauce, vegetable stock, stock reduction, flour tortillas, cheddar cheese, shredded, Mexican seasoning, and green onions. Uh, so we will uh, get on with it. Oh, hello sweet potatoes, a truly global food brought to you to your plate to get tonight in this Mexican inspired stew. And there's some um, there's some step by step process here we're going to work on step by step and we're going to walk you through it uh, while I, um, Joel films me cooking the meal and then we're going to finally test the meal see how it tastes. So before we begin, would you please be so kind as to like this video? Add it to your favorites, leave comments below, share with your friends on social media, subscribe to Video Gamers Oasis. It's, it's kind of an unusual video, I don't usually do videos like this, but I thought I'd spice things up and do something a little bit unusual, out of the ordinary, a little cooking video from HelloFresh. No. Okay. Usu as usual. Yep. Okay, um, according to the instructions here, uh, it says here, start here. Before starting, preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so I gotta get my oven open. I have to preheat it. Turn on the oven lamp. I'm gonna preheat it to three, the 425 degrees Fahrenheit, or 50 and 400, just between those two. Would you say that maybe at 420 Fahrenheit? Yeah, that'd be that'd be it. Just between those two. Wash and dry all produce. All right, so keep filming me, Joel. Yep. What we're going to do is we're going to um, take the produce out of the refrigerator that I've kept all day. Here we go, the HelloFresh ingredients. This is for the Mexican red bean stew. And due to um, the little bit of elimination there, due to the fact that we're dealing with produce, it's best to wash the produce before you, uh, you cook it. So. We have to rock, wash, um, we need to bust out a par parchment paper, n large non-stick pan, baking sheet, medium pot, and strainer. Okay, we'll do the best we can with what we got. So we got a strainer right here. So. Hands. Get that faucet working. Preheat to 425. First ingredient that we're going to wash is kidney beans. I don't to wash it in. Crushed tomatoes. It's not kidney beans. Some green onion. Some onion. Green pepper. 
uh, vegetable broth, some Mexican seasoning. Here we go. Here are the beans. Red kidney beans. And some tortillas. As well as some cheese. Shredded cheese and some kind of herb. I don't know what this herb is. This herb is a, either a chili, it's a um, Mexican seasoning, chili garlic, diced tomato, red bell pepper, sweet potato. Some kind of herb. Shredded sweet potatoes. And here are the sauce. So let's wash, get on with the washing of the, pro of the fresh products. A little bit of soap, not much. I'm going to wash, wash the vegetables. Let's get a bowl, a fresh bowl. Potatoes are nice and washed. We get pepper. Wash the pepper. Okay. And we have the green onion. Picnics or whatever. Okay, so we're just going to do that. We're going to and we're gonna strain it a bit. Now, alert allergens. Hey, home cooks, please refer to our meal kit labels for the most current allergen information. Ingredients are packaged in a facility that also handles egg, fish, crustacean, shellfish, milk, mustard, peanuts, sesame seed, sesame, soy, sulfites, tree nuts, and wheat. And the rest is cheese. Uh, we have chili garlic sauce, vegetable broth, vegetable broth, and uh, Mexican sauce, and we have the, the beans, the chili, kidney beans, and the tomatoes. All right. Step one, roast sweet potatoes. Cut sweet potatoes into one half inch pieces, then toss with one teaspoon of oil double for four people. We're just two people here. Joel and me are going to be cooking. So cut the sweet potatoes into two one and a half inch pieces. Rinse this uh, red board a bit. We have fresh water. Roast the sweet potatoes. Cut sweet potatoes into one half inch pieces. So I, I would think that would be kind of like here are the potatoes, little cubes, one inch pieces. All right. Got a nice handy butcher knife here. We're cutting one inch pieces. Nice. 
If you're new at this, it's very good to uh, cut slowly. Cut that in our piece there. And our piece again, cubes. Boing, drop some there. Alright, we'll just wash that again. Put all the potatoes in this white bowl. Would you say this is a one inch, half inch, or a little bit more? It's this half inch piece, Joel. I'd say, yeah, I'd say about that. No, no more than that? Yeah. It's a half inch. I think yeah. I did. Maybe it's cut it again. Yeah, I would say, I would cut it again. Just to give it a little bit more conciseness. So I'm going to cut it with a smaller knife to get more exact. I find this, I have more control of the smaller knife. Cut that, like that. Put it in the bowl, like that, temporarily. Okay. Cut that again. So good. The oven's getting preheated pretty hot. That's hot. It's feel it and smell it. <laughs> okay, a little more potato. My first time uh, internet land, so please be easy on me. I've never cooked a uh, red bean stew, Mexican red bean stew before. Cut the sweet to a half half inch pieces, and then toss in toss with a um, teaspoon of oil. Double for four okay, teaspoon of oil. So I'll get out my crusty, 100% pure. Sunflower oil, teaspoon, take a little teaspoon, pour a little teaspoon in there, there you go. tap it up, tap it up, and then we're going to hold a little bit of toss here. Then when we get that done, uh, on a parchment 
um, lined baking sheet. Season with salt and pepper. Baking sheet. We may have something like that. Alright. Wax paper. Come on, where are you? Have you ever used aluminum foil in the oven, Joel? Yep, not too often, but I usually just put oil on the pan. Maybe you can just put oil on the pan. Yeah, I could do that. That probably would be and a better a idea. Sheet. I thought, okay. Season with. Okay, so let's get this thing ready. Put a little extra oil on it. I don't recommend this. I'm using the um, little tin foil instead of paper, paper cooking sheet. It would probably be advisable to use the paper. But. You know what? I would probably just put the uh, just put the, the potatoes on the, the pan itself. See that oil; it won't burn. All right. You know, I'm just wondering if, uh, if it came with cooking cooking paper. Okay. Did it come with it? That would be cool if HelloFresh could spare a little bit of paper, but anyhow. Now we take the potato and do this like this. Usually, I, this is usually what I would do in most cases with french fries. I would, wouldn't use a paper sheet for french fries. You know, if you have any tips and tricks or better ideas with these sweet potatoes, let me know. I should be using paper, paper cooking sheet, but I'm using this instead. Now, a fan action. Now, it says season with salt and pepper. So I have um, some gourmet pepper and gourmet salt. I use Himalayan pink salt and heavenly spices peppercorn for my cooking. I hope I have an extra one. A little bit extra salt, sea salt I use as well. And a little bit of heavenly spices, black pepper. In the middle of the oven, flipping halfway through cooking until golden brown and tender, 22 to 23 minutes. We'll time it for 23 minutes. All right, take our nice sweet potato in the middle of the oven, it's hottest. There you go, right in the center there. And it says, Cook it. It's on uh, 425, 23 minutes. So while that's cooking in the oven, our next step is step two, prep and cook veggies. Well, sweet potatoes cook, core and cut pepper into one half inch pieces. Take the pepper, core and cut. to one half inch pieces. So we have to core it. Take the pepper stand out first. It's like you take a jack-o'-lantern laid out. Core it. Take the seeds out. I can use the seeds later. And planted. There we go. 
very good. Cut into pieces. I do have another knife I could use as well. This one's pretty sharp. Half inch pieces. Really good. It's good. It's really good to chop these up as small as possible, so it's not too chunky. All right. So far, so good. Drain and rinse beans. So I've, I've had, I already have the onions in here, um, so let's move the onions to the uh, white bowl so we can separate them. The spoon to scoop out these onions, we'll use them later, we already washed them. I'm going to strain out some um, well the sweet potatoes cook, cook uh, okay drain and rinse beans take the beans I'm going to open it up with a handy dandy hand opener Drain and rinse beans. Get this a little water on this thing. And then we'll drain it like this. Just like so. So all the beans are drained of all the liquid. Red bean. Okay. And there we go. Voila. Drained red beans. next. Heat a medium pot over medium high heat. Medium high heat. Pot on heat. Okay. So here we have the top Front one here, we'll move this to medium high. When hot, add one teaspoon of oil. Should get that oil with me. One teaspoon of oil. Like so. So good. The oven. Always good to keep your oven and your elements clear when you're cooking. It might be a good idea. Okay. Then, would you uh, drain and rinse beans here? 
to so some oil, then peppers, onions, and Mexican seasoning. Peppers, onions, and Mexican seasoning into the pot. Peppers, onions, and Mexican seasoning. Let's put some of that Mexican seasoning for the onion first. Very last morsel of onion. Here is the assorted Mexican seasoning. until peppers soften, four to six minutes. Season with salt and pepper. The salt. See salt I'm using. Step three, summer stew. Add beans, diced tomatoes, broth, concentrate, one cup of water, double for four people, and one half teaspoon of chili garlic or sauce. Note, reference heat guide to the, to the pot. First, heat the medium, set. Okay, first of all, add, add the beans to the, to the pot. Like so. Give me a tomato. <laughs> They're right here, folks. Sorry about that. Crushed tomato. We have it all in a, in a, in a sauce. Broth concentrate. Okay. Just in there. A little bit of rinse in there. I put a little extra water in the sauce to uh, dilute it. So nothing's wasted. Give it a little stir. And sauce. Uh, it was a broth concentrate. Broth concentrate. Uh, 
Okay, we have... Uh, yeah, this is it. Vegetable broth concentrate. That's exactly what we need. I'm going to peel that open, like so. Squirt it in, squirt it in. The broth concentrate. Another one for two people. Okay. Here we go. Stirring up the broth concentrate. Ah, careful there. Nearly careful. There we go. Now one cup of water. This will be good enough for a cup. Maybe two thirds of that. Two cups of that? Yeah. One two thirds. Two thirds. Okay. How's that? A little bit more? Uh, just a yeah. Okay. That better? Yeah, that that should be better. I'm guessing. It'll evaporate. You know, it's a little watery. Filtration. A little bit more. A little bit soupy. And one teaspoon of chili garlic sauce. Where's the chili garlic sauce? Here we go. Here's the chili garlic sauce. It is, it's worth one teaspoon. Just like I said, a oh, half a teaspoon. So, you put some away. Do -do -do. some away for later so don't overdo it. It's spicy for sure. It's a very slow cook. Okay. Heat guide to the pot, reduce the heat to medium. Simmer, stirring occasionally until slightly thickened, eight to nine minutes. Reduce that a bit. I didn't cook it too high, did I? I know enough. I've been checking the potatoes from time to time, making sure that they're stirred up. Sauce is not overcooked. It's pretty good. I'll reduce, the, I'll reduce the heat a bit more. Step four, assemble the quesadilla. While stew simmers, thinly slice green onions and arrange tortillas on a clean work surface. Have a clean paper towel, let's put an extra one just for extra cleanliness. There you go, like so. That. We'll take these tortillas. A clean surface. Like this. They need a total of four, I believe. Make it work. Then we slice green onions. Take some green onions like so. Chop it up. This is um a little bit smart, shorter. Take the quesadillas, 
thinly sliced green onions and a range of tortillas. One. Like so. And balance it off a bit more. Take the onions on each one. And we slice. We won't uh, include the roots. Clean work surface. Sprinkle cheese, half the green onions on one side of the each, each tortilla. On each side of the tortilla. I overdid it. I should only do one side of the tortilla. Oopsie. Move that to the next one. There we go. Now that we're done, that's the way it should be done. Carefully fold the other side of the tortilla over the cheese. Carefully over the cheese like this, like this, like so, over the cheese. Okay. Step five, cook quesadillas. Heat a large non-stick pan over the medium high heat. When pan is hot, add one teaspoon of oil. So we've got to get it hot in the corner. Just take a teaspoon of oil, like so. Like so. I'm going to taste one right here. It's going to boil. And double for four people. Um, and then add two quesadillas. Taking one pit quesadilla at a time into the oven, the um, not oven, the pan. Um, cook until golden brown, one half minute per side. Repeat with remaining quesadillas. Set aside in the plate and keep them warm. So we'll time this for two minutes. It has to be two minutes per side. So we can flip it over, we have a spa uh, spatula. So we need two, two minutes of that. Okay. Okay, so what we've, what we've been doing is we've been flipping it over each one minute, making sure it's nice and brown. Wait for a few more seconds. We've got the uh, quesadillas all cooked. It says here, uh, cook the quesadillas the golden brown. It's a little bit black, but it's fine. It's beautiful. Um, on half minute per side, got that one to two minutes per, so, uh, per side done. Repeat with the remaining quesadillas, set aside on a plate, and cover to keep warm. So we'll just take an extra plate here. Keep 
keep it with a ceramic plate, keep it nice and, and, and insulated. This is this this plate. This uh, this is a uh, pretty well uh, put it in the oven to keep it warm. But I have a very low heat, very low heat. In fact, I turned it off just so it wouldn't overheat. The sauce is looking good. Finally, step six: finish and serve. Add roasted sweet potatoes to the stew and stir together. Add roasted sweet potatoes to the stew. Add roasted sweet potatoes to the stew. Oh yeah. Here we go, guys. Make sure that the pan's not too hot when you're doing it. Like that. Give it a stir. So thicken up the sauce for sure, Joel. Stir together, season with salt and pepper. Get out good old sea salt. Get out the pepper. Heavenly spices, peppers. Pour them up. I am not presently uh, sponsored by Heavenly Spices, but if Heavenly Spices wants to do a deal with me, I'll be glad to uh, advertise for them. Salt and pepper. Divide stew between bowls. Sprinkle with remaining green onions. Cut castillo into triangles and serve on the side for dinner. This is over remaining garlic sauce, chili sauce. So first step for that, we need to divide the stew between bowls. So we'll get two bowls. These bowls like this. Divide the stew between bowls. One scooper, two scooper. Your leftovers for sure. Divide it up among bowls and the sauce. Sprinkle with remaining green onions. Sorry guys, I got a little melted cheese on top of that pan. Casadillas uh, into triangles and serve them side for dip. Side for dip.
just has used some triangles to serve on the side, serve on the side for dipping. So each one has a little bit of side. Get an extra plate here. Like so like this, like this, like this. Hi, uh, this is Jeremy from Video Gamers Oasis YouTube channel. We're doing our final bit, the most favorite uh, part of the HelloFresh project where we're being, making the red bean stew. Time to taste it. So, so here we have it. Let's give it a little sample. Mmm, here look at this red bean stew with some cheese quesadilla. Mmm. Oh. How's it taste, though? I'm gonna try some of this quesadilla now. Mmm, really good. I like it. I wish that you know what? I mm. wish the recipe called for cayenne pepper. Yeah. A little bit of cayenne pepper, maybe some uh, chili powder. Well, it had a chili powder ingredient, but it wasn't strong enough, was it? Yeah, maybe I should put it a little bit stronger. But I like it. Mm-hmm. There you have it, folks. Me and my friend Joel, thanks for his help for filming this. We successfully made our first HelloFresh recipe. Red bean stew with cheese quesadilla. If you like this video and you love this, this meal, would you give it a like? It would be very appreciative if you would do that. Favorite, comment, share with your friends on social media. Subscribe to Video Gamers Oasis to, and click the notification bell to be notified of future videos. Would appreciate if you would do that and uh, tell all your friends about this, this video and download uh, or click the link below the description for the HelloFresh link 40% off your purchase when you use my link. What do you got to lose? You got a lot of free time at home, at least for the time being. Why not cook some delicious recipes from HelloFresh? There you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. See you again real soon. Bye. Video Gamers Oasis Website YouTube Channel